was so fearful to come out of my house and see the sky the way it was. It was red and smoky and all these people out there. It, it's unimaginable. There were about five of us that spent the night in an office, like maybe five o'clock in the morning. We heard that our house was okay. I didn't believe it. I, I didn't believe it. I'm nervous about going home because I've been gone for what, five and a half months. I never wanted to go back to the house until certain things were checked out because I kept hearing about VOCs, volatile organic compounds. Having uh, had cancer, yeah. I you want want to be as safe as possible. There's so many people that are leaving Coffee Park, and that saddens me. I've been there for 29 years. It's where I have my roots. I want to feel that security of being in a home that I love, that I raised my daughter in. I want my grandchildren to come there. It's been so hard to find the information out on our own. It was painful for, for me having a home and needing answers. There have been so many moments that I've cried and felt like I haven't had support because of decisions I have to make in the moment. But when I look in the big scheme of it, there have been so many people in this process that have done an amazing job. Just the heart, the, the humanity that's come out of this is so, so beautiful. It feels like we're all sort of moving together in unison. It feels like this whole community is acting together. I, we were all affected. I know that people are moving through this in so many different ways. For me, is very new. I mean, my next door neighbor, I'd only been in her home maybe twice. And now, she's got a key to my home. I would trust her with my life. I would trust her with anything. It's really lovely. Who knows how this is all going to shake out, but I don't want to cut and run. I'd like to be there and be a part of what unfolds and to give back. I have a, a lot to be grateful for.